Hello everyone, Kayla here and this is What The Kink, a natural hair channel. And today we're going to be doing another video installment of the Base Study series. Today's base is the She Scented Plum Nectar and Agave Curl Perfection Styling Custard. It is a very long name. I probably will start calling it something shorter at some point in this video. <laughs> But um, I do want to make some statements just overall in general before I get into all the combos that I tried because that's how the base study works if you're new here. I do um, a couple of combos with this product as the base and then just talk about how it hap it went down. What, what happened um so if you're not like if you're in the middle of this like what's she talking about definitely go and watch my other base study videos catch up and then come back to this one i'll make sure actually to link them on the end screen so general comments first off so you're going to hear a word repeated throughout this video and it's going to be dryness <laughs> i felt like my hair was dry at a lot of these combos and i think the reason being is because the curl perfection custard has a little bit more hold than a lot of the other stuff that i tend to use as a base so for your base product whether it be a gel a custard a foam you want something that doesn't have too much crazy hold maybe some hold providing ingredients but it's something that overall just leaves your hair pretty soft so you're like oh you know i could have used a conditioner or did i use a conditioner you kind of want it to be like that um, i live in florida and so there are a couple of gels full-on gels that if i go outside with just that on my hair my hair is going to be frizzy poofy and then it feels kind of wet to the touch and it feels like okay but did you put gel no you didn't like did you use leave-in only and think that you were going to come outside that's what some of these gels are like because of where i live but um this particular product has a little bit more hold than that um it can actually style my hair it just doesn't last very well so I think pairing it with things that had even more hold just didn't result in the best thing. So because of that, I'm not going to do like the best combo and the least bestestest <laughs> combo. Just kidding, guys. Worst combo. I'm not going to do that in this. I'm just going to go through all the combos and just tell you what happened with each and every one. Okay, so let's start this thing off with Frozen from Sultanicals. Uh, it's in terms of like topper gels that are featured here this is probably the second strongest hold topper gel that i use and so uh, i here are my notes wore this in california bay area way too much hold hair felt a bit dry on wash day looked all right as the cast finally began to break off and when i say finally y'all we were gone for a full seven days and my hair was looking casty 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 almost the entire trip i and I, it to the point where i was like i don't really like this very much and like just like a, like a day or two before i was going to wash my hair is when it started to like blossom and look a little bit better so i wasn't a fan of that it, it was way too casty way too much hold but also it could be a factor because i was not here it probably would have softened up a little bit quicker if i was here um being in california it's not humid and it in many places and on many days that we were at it it wasn't even as warm as it is here i, I don't even know how people in california be watching me like <laughs> because I'm, I'm sure a lot of the combos i use are probably too much for where y'all are at but anyways um yeah i i wasn't loving that that particular combo and it says days lasted until it washed so my hair didn't puff up or frizz up obviously um but yeah it was a little dry on the wash day okay so the strongest hold gel that i i like to use is jello shot so when jello shot got together with the plum nectar and agave custard uh longer dry time crunchy but juicy now there is a difference that i am i'm talking about using this in florida so um gel cast broke a day or so sooner and it fluffed out very nicely you can really see the shape elaine did recently um days lasted until wash so i didn't complain of dryness there um I, I it takes me six weeks to film these things so um just because i didn't say there wasn't dryness i don't know so i maybe have to revisit that one in the future just to see um and then wonder curl jelly all caps surprised <laughs> hair is bigger but it is defined elongated and soft 
I smell like plain bar soap. Started to lose definition towards the ends at day three, felt dry on day four. So I listed that the days lasted as three. So this one came out the gate swinging. It was an unexpected banger, but hair felt dry after a while. Um, next, I then paired it with Kinky Curly Curling Custard. That is something that has its own entire video. So if you missed it, that'll be one of the videos that I link at the end of this video. So came out very defined with no cast. Hair has more volume, but it also has weight and movement. Lost a lot of the shine by day three. So y'all, it was shiny at first and then the shine just started to come off and it went dull, which may have been due to all the outdoor <laughs> with mom. Gives foam styled, so it looked very much like that. Um, should have washed it sooner as hair felt a bit dry at the next washing. Days lasted five. So it, it starts to just go downhill as it got older and then it starts to feel dry. Uh, Miss Jessie's Jelly Soft. Very soft, fluffy, but still defined. A little snow when I took it down the first morning. Days lasted three. This is one that I will also note that I did not uh, write anything about dryness on this one either. And then we have the final one, which is Earth Tones Max. Hair was juicy the second I added this on top got my wheels turning. So I was thinking about it because I was like, okay, my hair feels instantly way better the second I put the earth tones on top. Uh, definition is weakening over the days, a little debris at the roots on top, but hair still feels great five days later. And days lasted, question mark. The reason why is it a question mark? Because I still have this combo in my hair. So this is day five, styled with earth tones naturals. I am wearing my thumb drum headband. But as you can see, or maybe not, there's a little bit of product here at the top and it does feel really good still. So this is probably one combo that I can say, no dryness, um, none at all. I'm liking the shape of my hair, but it is a, it was a little too much to wear all the way down, which is why I have the headband and I am starting to see a little bit of snow as I'm adjusting it. It might be because I have lights, it makes that easier to see. And I am gonna like, let's see if we can turn around. It's, it's evening when I'm filming this. I'm getting around to it so it may not be as visible because I never turn the light on in this room that I film in. I always use studio lighting. You getting it? So the definition on this one isn't super strong but I've, I'm starting to think like maybe I could do something else like other combos that may work that are whatever but I think overall at the end of this, I can say that I probably will discontinue the use of this gel as a base. I, you know, it might need something else under it or just to, to leave it alone entirely because there's so many other gels that I could be using. <laughs> Keeping it real with you, it is what it is. So that is all I have to say on this particular case of the base. We will be moving on to another base very soon. Keep your eyes on the community tab and I will be putting the videos over here that are related to the base study that you can check out. Subscribe. I post videos every week and I'll talk to you in the next one.